Right, when doing a sectional right view of this pentagonal pyramid, um, there are two ways of doing it. Uh, first of all, you could take the lines across as you would normally do from all the points from apex and from all these points on the base of the pyramid over there. Um, and then you could take measurements from your auxiliary view over here. There's point one, take it to point one, take it across over here, knock it in there, label that as point one. Okay, and we could take all of these measurements using our pair of dividers, always using that auxiliary view. If you are happy that your top view is perfect, then you can use this 45 degree line over here, which you can draw from the intersection of these two XY axes over here. Let me just label that XY. Okay, there's my XY axis over there. Um, the idea is I can use that 45 degree line to take lines across. I'm taking this line from point 0.5 across to the across to that 45 i'm going to take that up over here i'm going to look for number five over there and label that as 0.5 over there you should find that um, it doesn't matter which view that you go to there's 0.5 it's just that distance away from the xy axis if i come over here it should be exactly the same and if i come over here it should be exactly the same Right, please work very, very accurately in getting that top view if you are going to use this 45 degree um, line so as to not lose any marks on your accuracy. Right, let's just take lines going across from point two. There it is, it's the 45 degree line. Take that up, okay. Find where two is, there's two coming across and I can label that as two. Let's do the same thing for three. There's three, take that up. There's three coming across over here. There's three, four, take that across, take it up. There's four, that point over there. Okay, and the last point is the apex that I need to take across, and that goes up to where point zero is on that x, y axis over there, right. Okay, um, once I've got that in place, I can then again look at drawing in construction lines the, the base, just up at the top over here. Just doing it in construction lines, don't do it dark straight away, because you need to figure out what needs to be darkened in later. All right. Um, let's just take some lines down to the apex over here from all of the different points over here. And then we've got to have a look and see what is done in dark, what would be done as light, or hidden detail at least, not light. Okay, um, first of all, where am I standing? I'm standing on this side, looking across from the right-hand side of the front view and I would be able to see three, four, and I would be able to see the rest of the base up at the top there. Um, the problem over here is that it has been cut, okay? I'm going to be taking away this section over here, and I'm going to be looking at that cutting plane. Straight away, I can say, well, the cutting plane is going to be cutting through at the base over there. If we look, where's Note AB over there, if I come along here and I measure off where A is, I come along here and I can label A on line 4-5. Look at that, there's line 4-5 over there and A is situated there. B is on line 2-3, there's B on line 2-3. I can then say, well, I can see the rest of my base. I can draw that in straight away. Draw that in, draw that in, draw that in, and draw that in. Right. Okay, I need to find these points over here, B and C. Okay, where's B and C? Well, not B and C, sorry, C and D. C and D, sorry, that's a D over there. C and D, C and D, taking it across. If you look at it, D is on line five zero. 
Where's five zero? Coming along here, there is point D. C is on line, uh, line two zero. So I come along here, there's two zero, there's C. Where's E? E is on line one zero. So I come along here and I say, where is E? E is on line one zero. There is E over there. And I can draw in my cutting plane on these lines. There we go. 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 I'm going to be able to still see a bit of the line going from D up to 5 over there. I'm going to be able to see a little bit of the line going from C up to 2 over there. Okay. And I'm going to be able to see hidden detail coming down to where E is over there. That is that line number 1 at the back there coming down to E. Remember, if I'm standing over here, I wouldn't be able to see that line over there. Um, once I've done that, I can then hatch this whole area with a 0.3 pencil. And in the next video, I'm going to look at drawing the true shape of that cutting plane uh, in the direction of B. Now, that's very, very important um, in that you are actually going to not just see the cutting plane, but you're going to see the rest of the object as well. Right. Next video will be on the true shape.